In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. As we are on our journey through the Novena to the Blessed Virgin Mary, to celebrate the Nativity of Blessed Virgin Mary, we are on the third day. And on this third day, let us continue to meditate on Rosary. Rosary is a prayer that could be prayed any time, at any situation, at any circumstances of your life. Are you happy, feeling joyful? Are you glad? Pray the joyful mysteries. Meditate on the joyful mysteries. All the things that happened in Jesus' life that was the everything that was joyful is meditated there. Pope John Paul also says, Rosary is the meditation of the face of Christ. Yes, we meditate the face of Christ. The life of Christ, the whole life of Christ is in Rosary. And we meditate on it with Blessed Virgin Mary and that is Rosary. Are you down in your life? Are you in sorrow situation? Pray the sorrowful mysteries. And it gives you a relaxation. It gives you a sort of happiness to you. It gives you, it finds a solution to your life. Yes, you will find a solution to your life when you pray the sorrowful mysteries. When you are down. Are you living in darkness? At times have you felt there is no light in me? Jesus is the true light. And when you are in such situations, when you want some sort of light into your life, which gives you more life, pray this rosary of luminous mysteries. And it gives life to you. All the revelations, you meditate there. All the revelations that took place in the life of Jesus is meditated there in the luminous mystery. Yes. Are you in deathful situation? Are you over glad? Do you have any confusions in your faith? Do you have any belief issues? Pray the resurrection mysteries. Pray the glorious mysteries. When you meditate on the resurrection of Christ, which is the basic foundation, which is the basic foundation of a Christian life. Once you meditate this with Mother Mary, you get life. You get energy to your life. So, rosary could be prayed at any situations of your life. Is someone dead? Pray the glorious mysteries. The one who believes in me will live with me. And all these promises are fulfilled in the glorious mysteries. Few days back, it was not too long, I was in a great distress situation. When I was in this great distress situation, as we all do, I too went to many priests for counselings. I also sat in front of the Blessed Sacrament. And the one thing they advised me more and more was to pray rosary. Yes, you will have a solution when you pray the rosary. And I was praying and praying rosary. I used to pray at least 33 rosaries a day. And after a month, I found no answer to my prayers. I called to one of my aunt who is in Sweden. Her name is Rosmi. And I was explaining my situation and she also told me, you pray the rosary. And I told her, prayed a rosary for a, such a long time and I have not got the answer. And she told, if you pray the rosary, none of the, as I have told before, no one bead of rosary, no one Hail Mary that you pray will be wasted or goes in vain. She will give you at the right time. She will intercede you. She is interceding for you always and she will give you at the right time. And she also explained to me, she also was sharing with me our experience all the miracles that happened in our life through the rosary. As she was explaining, I got a hope. I, I believed that rosary can do some miracles. Though I was praying so much rosaries every day. 
And finally, she said a word which touched me a lot. Brother, I am today so much addicted to rosary. Yes, addicted to rosary. Not many days went. I got answer to my prayers. And it was the answer that in a way that I wanted. God gave me the perfect answer in the perfect way and I believe it is through the rosary I got this answer. It was done in an excellent expression. Yes, it was because I prayed this rosary. The word that touched me was I am addicted to rosary. Yes, we have to be addicted to rosary. We should pray rosary every time. You are on to the office, pray the rosary on the way. You are working in kitchen, pray the rosary. You are on to school, pray the rosary. You are going to colleges, pray the rosary. You are in a distressed situation, pray the rosary. You are in a happy situation, pray the rosary. Yes, rosary is the powerful weapon, powerful thing that God has given us. Remember, pray the rosary. Let us pray. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.